Okay, so I thought I'd try and demonstrate some uh, some close-up stuff of uh, the stuff that was in the other video. So, um, here, starting on the uh, the fifth fret on the A string, with the thumb on the right hand to play that, and then uh, the first finger of the right hand to play the open D string. Now bring your thumb back down again onto that D string to play the third fret. The only other put is to um, up onto the uh, the fifth fret rather than the third. And it's quite a staccato effect on that D string because as you as you play, your thumb comes down to uh, to block it. make a nice bar at like the 10th fret and then uh, again with the thumb hammer onto the 12th on the G string and then keep that bar where it is on the first and second the 13th fret there on the B string with the thumb to pull off again the thumb on the G string on the 12th first finger to keep that bar if you just keep that bar in that position the whole time it will uh, make it easier Point. While you've got that uh, that D string at the 12th fret, just shift this bar from this position. Just shift it up one, because the next note is going to be on that D string on the 10th on the 10th fret. Hammer onto the 12th. This next bit again, keeping that bar in that position. Again, you're kind of muting that E string with your thumb as it comes down. Um, that sort of Mark Knopfler technique of uh, of rolling sort of several several notes together um, is this sort of right hand technique where you're kind of playing the same the same string but with different fingers or. Um, Double hitting notes. And it's just involving your thumb coming down. Thank you. 